going on guys let's do this problem right here so we have two questions the first question is asking write the net ion equation for the overall reaction that occurs when aqueous solution of carbo carbonic acid and potassium hydroxide are combined assume excess base okay let's see how we can do this so first of all to do this problem we have to write balanced equation so we have carbonic acid that's h2co3 h2co3 aqueous and then we have potassium hydroxide right koh aqueous so when we combine these two together we will get k2co3 and then k2co3 and also we are going to have water right H2O liquid so this is going to be aqueous this is going to be aqueous so let's balance this equation uh, here here we have two potassium so we have to balance potassium right here and here we have two hydrogen two hydrogen four hydrogen so this is going to be two and everything else is balanced already so that's all we have to do then we have to check whether this is dissociate this will dissociate in water right dissociate whether it will dissociate to check that one we have solubility and strong electro electrolyte rules according to that this one will not dissociate right this one will dissociate and this one will dissociate since this is liquid this is going to be remaining the same so only these two things are going to be dissociate as uh, ions so let's write this that write the total ionic equation so total ionic in the total ionic what's going to happen is this is going to remain the same so this is going to be h2co3 aqueous and we are going to have two potassium plus aqueous and then plus two hydroxide oh minus ion aqueous and the other side we are going to have two k plus aqueous and then co3 minus co3 2 minus actually co3 2 minus aqueous and then we are going to have h2o 2 h2o liquid right 2 h2o liquid so this is going to be the equation now what we have to do to the question is asking to write the net ionic equation so to write the net ionic equation we have to identify the spectator ions basically that those are the ions exist in both sides here we have potassium plus potassium plus both sides and that's the only thing we have so others are going to be in the net ionic equation so let's write the net ionic equation that's going to be h2co3 aqueous then we are going to have 2 OH minus aqueous and the other side of the equation we are going to have CO3 2 minus aqueous and then water right water and this is the net ionic equation for the first question let's do the second one so second one is saying write a net ionic equation for the reaction that occurs when aqueous solution of ammonia and nitric acid are combined so ammonia and nitric acid so nitric acid is going to be HNO3 aqueous and ammonia is going to be NH3 aqueous and when we combine these two we are going to have NH4NO3 aqueous and this is the equation and this one is already balanced because one n one n hydrogen is four already there no3 right so this is already balanced so we don't have to any, do anything about it but we have to see whether all of this will dissociate to check this one we have to uh, check the solubility, uh, solubility and strong electrolyte rules so according to that this one will dissociate this one will not dissociate and this one will dissociate so what's going to happen is this is going to remain the same and the others are going to be separated as ions right so here, here we are going to have H plus ion and also we are going to have NO3 minus aqueous and NH3 is going to be remaining the same 
NH3 aqueous and the other side this will be dissociated as NH4 plus aqueous and then we are going to have NO3 minus aqueous. So this is going to be the equation and this is total ionic. So to write the net ionic I have to check the spectator ions. Actually what does that mean? The ions that exist in both sides. Here we have NO3 existing in both sides so we can cancel those two and whatever the things left remaining we don't have anything else right so we, we can write others in our net ionic equation so net ionic equation is going to be net ionic is going to be H plus aqueous plus NH3 aqueous and the other side we are going to have NH4 plus aqueous and that's how it's done. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.